Hey everybody, welcome back to the AWI Review, and today we're going to be looking at the M4A1 Sherman from Blitzkrieg Miniatures. So if you've seen my previous video on Blitzkrieg Miniatures, you'll already know that you want to go to Sherwood War Games. Uh, they are the U.S. distributor for Blitzkrieg Miniatures tanks and, uh, and vehicles. And if you go there and if you put in the code that's in that previous video, uh, they'll give you a, a discount on your purchase of Blitzkrieg Miniatures. So that's just uh, one thing I can do for you guys. But anyway, let's get on to the M4A1. Now, overall, this is a beautiful kit. You will know that I've already reviewed the M4A1 from Trenchworks, which is another great kit. Uh, the difference between the kits, there are some cosmetic things that are different uh, with the tools and also the front doesn't have the, uh, the ridging on it. Um, the other difference is with construction, right? The actual building process of these, uh, these kits. So the Trenchworks model, there's a little bit of assembly work, right? This one, there's even less. Basically, the whole kit is a model kit for Trenchworks. So this one is box the table really quick, just like all Blitzkrieg Miniatures kits. And uh, one of the great things about this kit is I just magnetize the turret, and then the uh, Conflict 47 players out there will appreciate this. Their turrets fit very nicely in there. I did have to do a little bit of trimming on the bottom of this to get the magnet on there, but once the magnet's in place, it snaps right on, and it's light enough that you don't have to worry about the turret coming off. And uh, overall, uh, just a really great kit. Uh, it is resin, so again, if you are going to be doing any sort of cleanup work, make sure you wear a, a mask and you use gloves. Uh, put on proper PPE, guys, because you don't want to be breathing in the uh, resin dust for this. In terms of scale, you can see I've got a Rubicon tank here, the M36B1, and I've also got an M4 from Warlord Games next to it. Just so you can see, the scale is, is comparable. Uh, it is a 28 millimeter. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I highly recommend you pick up these tanks, uh, the M4A1, especially if you're doing the Italian theater for US. Um, and for those of you who play Conflict 47 out there, the Italian campaign book is coming up for Conflict 47 and Warlord is gonna be pushing, uh, from what I hear, some new uh, Italian campaign stuff as well. So. Uh, that's going to be something to look at in the future, and right now Warlord does not have an M4A1 Sherman available, so Blitzkrieg Miniatures is going to be the way to go. Again, check out Sherwood War Games for those in the U.S. to pick up your Blitzkrieg Miniatures at uh, a discounted price. Do what I said in the previous video, and you should be just fine. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little review, and I will catch you later.